Good Thursday to you, TGO traders and investors. Matt Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And simply a, a, a stunning morning so far uh, as far as announcements and economic data here in the United States. First of all, let's start with uh, over across the pond, uh, Mario Draghi. It was leaked yesterday that there wasn't going to be a rate cut. And then, surprisingly, a 25 basis point uh, cut. Euro has absolutely imploded and fallen out of bed. You want to talk about uh, a Fed-like move of completely surprising the market. And it's funny because I'm, I'm watching his press conference and he's saying, well, this is you know, absolutely in line with our forward guidance. Uh, actually, it isn't. It, it really isn't. The central banks around the world, <clears throat> even though they tell you that they're doing a great job with their forward guidance, are completely scaring the markets. Or not necessarily scaring them, but surprising them which then makes them scared. So uh, Draghi has said uh, euro area growth uh, risks remain to the downside. His current inflation risks are broadly balanced, which uh, I believe they actually have a deflationary environment over in Europe. I mean, well below their 2% target uh, inflation. Uh, market conditions potentially remain negative for the economy. Employment remains high, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the party, Mario Draghi and Europe. Now he's starting to morph into a little bit of a of a Ben Bernanke face uh, right there. So very interesting with what's going on across the pond. That rate cut was unexpected. We didn't think it was needed. Uh, so it's very interesting to see what's uh, going on in, in the markets here. But m more importantly, or, or just as important, um, the the GDP number this morning completely. <sighs> And again, I, I've been on the phone since these numbers came out and, and, and on uh, conference calls. Um, nobody believes it. You're telling me uh, quarter over quarter growth is 2.8%. You guys know me that we need to at least have a three in front of this to get out of this economic Vietnam we're in. With a government show, with everything that's going on in, in our economy, it grew at 2.8%. This reminds me of the uh, pre election. A 30-year unprecedented drop in the unemployment rate right before the November election. And then after the president got reelected, it went back up to its crappy rate. So I, I don't know anybody out there that's believing this right now. You, you, you wouldn't believe what's going on in the financial markets with everybody just kind of going, there's no way physically possible that happened. Now, weekly unemployment claims were more or less a yawn. Uh, California has apparently uncalifornicated itself and uh, is reporting, quote, uh, uh, realistic numbers. Um, but this 2.8 print, folks, is is stunning. So the ECB move is stunning. This this high GDP, uh, GDP print is absolutely stunning. And it's funny because when it came out, the futures were, were kind of wallowing around. Uh, and here's why, because we are in bizarro market. If this number is correct, if we're seeing 2.8, uh, I covered the other day that you know even the Boston Fed chief and I'd say a lot of other heavies also agree with me that we need to see uh, a three or above uh, to really get out of this thing. If we're trending that way, that means the Fed can get out of here sooner. So the fact that the futures initially pulled back and said, whoa, the, 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 first of all, I don't believe it. Second of all, if these numbers are true, the Fed's going away. But the futures were covered. So it's either the futures were covered because they know that this is a load of crap, especially with what's going on uh, in, in our market or our economy here in the United States, or the market's actually happy that even if the Fed went away, well, look, we're getting 2.8% GDP growth, so we're, we're well on our road to recovery. So this is absolutely, it, it's going to be a very, very interesting day and even more of a reason for you to attend our full throttle week next week to digest these numbers uh, and more importantly, or just as importantly, tomorrow's unemployment numbers, non-farm payroll, average hourly earnings, personal spending, personal income, and consumer sentiment. Because I just, I am absolutely stunned. Uh, I don't see... I don't see where those numbers came from, and I obviously have to dig into them and, uh, uh, and, and, and really get a handle on what drove GDP to blow everybody out of the water. I mean, this is just it's, it's an absolutely stunning development, and again, as I dig into it, I'm going to find out. I'm going to get to the bottom of it, see what's really going on, and figure out how to, uh, how to trade this, whether or not the market's going to uh, react kind of negatively. Eh, well, that means the Fed might leave early or the market's happy that the GDP is realistic, did print like that, and we can kind of go without the Fed. 
Either way, I think we go higher in the market. Uh, I, I think we drift higher. The Fed's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not like Bernanke woke up, he's reading, uh, saw uh, this GDP number come across, and he's going into work, calling everybody going, all right, time to taper. It's just not going to happen. So market's going up. Smoke your hopium. Make sure you're hedged, and uh, make sure you register for next week's full throttle preview week so we can talk about all this, look at potential trades, and look at some hedges for uh, when, not if, the music's going to stop. Okay, so i got to get back to work here. Uh, uh, really good stuff going on. Check this out. The past 30 days, from October 7th to uh, November 7th, over $19,000 in weekly options profits. We've had 15 out of 16 winning trades. That's about a 94% success ratio um I, i'm knocking on wood i'm, I'm knocking on my head uh but that that's pretty shit hot excuse my french especially in this market environment we had a, a government shutdown we had a debt ceiling fight we had a, ba a budget fight uh, we've had earnings and uh, weekly options have been absolutely crushing it uh, in the past 30 days so that's uh you know that, that's about half our year's performance in the past 30 days so very very happy with what's going on in the weekly options model portfolio and obviously so are our weekly options traders all right got to run happy hunting make sure you hedge and i'll be back tomorrow over at Wealth Creation Investing with our Friday market wrap-up. We'll see you.